What's up, Solid Steppers? What's up, Tech the Titans? Shout out to all my coaching clients that's blowing it up. One stop com completions and appliance repair, getting the bag. I've knocked out all my clients for the day, getting ready to get my balance in. Knocked out the laundry. Now I'm headed over to go uh, put some time in at the gym. I'm over here in Kingsland, Georgia, right, Georgia, right next to the submarine base, doing what I do. So I'm going to slide in here real quick. Small town, so they got a little uh, Planet Fitness. So I'm going to go hop in right now because I can't seem to focus at the hotel to get a workout in. So, you know what you do? Still got to get it in. Always have something to do that's improving you. That's the only way to do it. Trust me. Trust me. Stay focused. So I want to talk about a little something. Shout out to my mentor. Number one mentor, Erica Williams, man. I saw the light in this young lady years ago when she first started on YouTube. She always was bringing a real authentic game to the table, telling people the truth, trying it out on herself before she brought anything to us so she knew it worked. So I have a lot of respect for her because I know she ain't gonna recommend nothing that she wouldn't do. And also if she failed or ran into some issues, she's gonna be straight up with you and let you know what time it is. Lord knows I need an oil change, but I cannot be doing oil changes at these places. I gotta go to the dealer, because if something happens, guess what y'all, I wants to hear nothing. I know how they move. I want it in their records, but that's a different conversation. We're gonna slide up in here and this, uh, oh my God, I am passing by Harbor Freight. I need to not stop. Y'all ever had that moment where you know you just need to continue to look ahead and say nothing, do nothing? I got to check in with one of my coaching clients. Uh, we have a Sunday call before I get in here. So I'm just getting myself mentally prepared to go ahead and do the right thing. We're growing, uh, going public, grab me some water real quick. So I can uh, chug it back while I'm uh, doing what I got to do. You know how it is. Man, I'm telling you, I think we can learn how to drive right about but anyway, getting back to y'all, like I said, there's no excuse for you not to be healthy. You got to work on all parts of who you are because the reality is you can't leave you. You got to focus on you. You got to work out on a daily basis and do the best you can. I'm looking at this trainer coming out of uh, Platinum's Fitness with one of his clients now. She looking at him like, yeah, you want to die, bro. But at the end of the day, we got to get it in. But like I said, y'all, I'm uh, very clear that we all have work to do. And I'd just like to say an amen and a shout out to all my mentors. Erica Williams, classic client. Y'all better get with her. Boy, them prices going up. She getting ready to do what she should have did a long time ago, raise the price. Today's price is not yesterday's price. Y'all better get it together. Um, the other thing is, though, find you someone that you actually can vet and they are showing you proof of what they do. I'm not talking about Lamborghinis. I'm not talking about the Flash, you know. I'm talking about people who have steady, gradual improvement. They become better and better every time you see them. And they admit their flaws, faults, and their failures. And that's what I really appreciate about, appreciate about Erica is because... You can vet everything she's done. She's always straight up. And I'm so glad she had a point in her life. She ain't sugarcoat nothing no more because, boy, look here. I used to be one of the people in her comments going at folks like, you need to get up off old girl. I'm the one that want all the smoke because she's just good people, you know. And the thing about it is, is that we're in a day and age where you don't know who to trust, but you got to trust yourself. I feel like you figure out who to trust when you trust you. You got to trust your judgment. And you got to be able to stand on whatever you believe in and also admit your mistakes and adjust accordingly. You're going to make mistakes in choosing people to follow. And, do. and it's sad that you got to follow people because the reality, if you pick up a book, read some, and, and actually apply some processes, you might not have to follow nobody. You might actually be able to step out on faith Make some moves in your life, make some adjustments, and 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 order your steps. I think part of the problem is people don't have the the proper foundation, and they run around here with their feelings on their sleeve, trying to make decisions. 
You cannot make sound decisions from a point of emotion. I'm a, ask, uh, I'm telling you what I know. This is the life I have led. I understand. There are a lot of bad mistakes and decisions I made because I was in my emotions. And I was so hot, so angry, so mad, so pissed off, so disappointed that my emotions got in the way of my practical set, my practical abilities. Luckily, I know how to <laughs> come up. But the reality is, is that, you know, I got, I got a hard head. It makes it soft behind. I'm very clear. But I also understand that stubbornness and tenacity also put me in a place where most people aren't. I can push through and go through things and withstand stuff that most people can't. And that's only because I had them to get it through the hard way. Now I have to learn that everything ain't got to be hard. So that's what I mean about doing what you got to do, you know? At the end of the day, when you're moving in appliance business, any business or life, you got to vet what you got to do. Like right now, I'm sitting here. I had a client today, had a Samsung. I walked in, had my manual, all that stuff. And I'm so used to doing the Samsung. It's so easy for me to be like, I don't need it. I know what it is. Well, in this particular case, there was a 7 E code, a 22 E code. So 7 is related to the fan, 22 is ice maker, what have you. The reality is, I wanted to make sure that I tested everything properly as if I didn't have the directions. Like I put it in FF, you know, mode, got all the fans to come on, have power coming to the fan in the fresh food section, it wouldn't come in. So I was able to confirm that, you know, that way I knew that power was being sent from the board. Why am I saying this? The key is, is that we can get comfortable in our life and think everything is plug and play and one size fits all and it doesn't. So you got to be able to vet yourself through those pot, those things. Same thing with the KitchenAid dishwasher I had today. I had a KitchenAid dishwasher. I got there. The first thing I did while I was working on the uh, Samsung refrigerator, I, you know, while I had that in the mode, I walked over to the dishwasher. I put it in diagnostic mode, ran a video. Because I'm one of the people, I'm going to count, but at the same time, I'm going to run a video for my record so I can go back and count and make sure I had a code that was number 8-4. That right there was related to the drain pump. So there are four steps in that and four things to troubleshoot, make sure it's not a restriction, da 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 things of that nature. At the end of the day, y'all, I have come a long way because I'm a person that don't like dishwashers. Why am I saying this? I'm saying that... Every time I hit a wall, I went back and studied. Now, did I study the first couple of times? Like, no, because I was too confused, too disorganized, too that, so I couldn't do that. Now, I've slowed everything to a pace to where I might do three to five calls a day. If, if five calls, I'm pushing. But the reason I want to keep it at three is because my average call is going to be anywhere from like the day. My calls ran. It was a pretty good day. Three calls, I did roughly an average of $1,500 a call. That's $4,500. Bam. You know, give or take. But the reason is, is because I plot, plan. I have parts with me. And if I get there, there's something else I need. I reschedule, but I make sure that I'm paid for the double trip and that there's enough profit to compensate me coming back. That's how I run my business because I understand what I'm doing and I understand my blueprint, which is very different than most because most people show up in the business and they got a system and they just clock, 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 clock. Well, when I move, I have a boutique business, so I move in such a way that I'm going to be profitable every day. I'm not losing. I can run into an issue and get my butt handed to me, but I done made so much in the meantime. On the other days, I can take a hit. A lot of y'all out here can't take no hits, man. And y'all can and then you get mad and want to quit. Well, why you gonna get mad and quit when you just need to run a better business? Make business decisions and make a and develop a better business. I was just talking to one of my round table mem members about business credit, about how people have no idea about how structuring is so important. People think you can just put a little thing, a couple of things in place and you're good. This stuff has to be set and monitored because things are gonna happen. Anytime you're dealing with human beings, there's something called human error. You believe it's gonna happen, you know it's gonna happen, but you, Oh, for the best. What do they say? 
plan for the worst and help for the best. So you got to realize if you ain't the only one touching your files, you ain't the only one putting your information in, you're not the only person vetting your business doing X, Y, and Z, you better believe you're going to have a problem. That's human nature. So that's what I'm saying. In all things become better. And all things become better. Hold yourself accountable. Please hold yourself accountable. Your business should be making money on a daily basis. I personally feel that any business, like say I'm just starting. If I'm just starting, I better be making three to five hundred dollars a day, five days a week. That's twenty five hundred a week. That, that you know, that is what it is. In some areas, you can live off that, but not where I live. But I'm not knocking nobody because you got to start somewhere. That's why I love my crew. Um, that have their full-time jobs and they be out here killing the game. Uh, pff, man, I ain't... Shout out to LP. They be out here killing the game. That could be you. But at the end of the day, you need to plot this thing. And then you got to understand, I'm not doing appliance repair forever. I tell people that all the time. They be in their feelings. Why you in your feelings about what my choices are? I'm very clear about the trajectory I want in my life. And I understand that how much I got to move the needle or the, the nose of the plane to get it to where I want it to go. Because the point is you aim properly and you adjust the, the through the route, you're gonna be good. But if you sit here and don't, it's gonna be a problem. Like right now, I'm taking my round brown ass up here in the Planet Fitness. You know why? Because I got time right now, I got a window. I'm gonna take this window and I'm gonna invest it in my physical health because that's what Miss Ward needs to do to be, have, be a better Miss Ward. You figure out what you gotta do. And just do it. You don't need no damn permission. You ain't got to ask nobody. Just go do it. You heard what I said. Just go do it. Set the plans and be consistent. You don't have to be perfect. You just have to be consistent. Be blessed. Enjoy your Sunday.